Mathematics, the universal language of logic and precision. From the ancient pyramids of Egypt to the exploration of distant galaxies, numbers have guided humanity. But among these precise truths lies a paradox, a puzzle so deceptively simple that it has stumped the greatest minds for generations. It's called the Collatz Conjecture, also known as the 3x plus 1 problem. And it begins with just one rule. Here's the challenge. Pick any positive whole number, let's say 6. If the number is even, divide it by 2. If it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. Then repeat this process with the result. Keep going. Simple enough, right? Ah, but here's where the mystery begins. No matter what number you start with, big or small, this process always seems to lead back to the number 1. Always. But why? And more importantly, is it true for every number in the infinite universe of mathematics? That's the question mathematicians have tried and failed to answer for nearly a century. In 1937, a German mathematician named Lothar Collatz introduced this problem. It was a curiosity, a playful riddle among scholars. But as the years passed, this simple puzzle became a mathematical obsession. It's been studied, analyzed and dissected, yet no one has found a definitive proof. Collatz himself warned that this problem might be unsolvable. And yet, it has captivated some of the brightest minds in history, including Paul Erdos, who famously said, Mathematics is not yet ready for such problems. Today, researchers use supercomputers to test the Collatz conjecture on billions of numbers. Every single one eventually reaches one. But proving it for all numbers, proving it for infinity, remains elusive. Why does this matter? Beyond the thrill of the chase, the Collatz conjecture touches on profound questions about the nature of numbers, chaos, and order. It's like looking at a simple thread and realizing it might unravel the secrets of the universe. At its core, the Collatz conjecture represents something deeply human, our innate curiosity. Why do we climb mountains? Why do we reach for the stars? Because the unknown beckons us. Some call it obsession, others call it passion. For those who chase the Collatz conjecture, it's a journey of beauty and frustration, a dance with infinity. Every failed attempt is not a defeat, but a step closer to understanding. But this puzzle isn't just hard, it's weird. Mathematicians have discovered strange patterns within the Collatz sequence. Certain numbers create loops that repeat before collapsing into one. The paths these sequences take can look random, yet they're governed by strict rules. Is it chaos? Or is there a hidden order we've yet to see? Some researchers suspect the answer lies deep in number theory, while others believe it might require entirely new branches of mathematics. What if the tools to solve it don't exist yet? Sometimes I feel like I'm staring into an abyss, but then a small breakthrough, a pattern, a connection, and I'm reminded why I love this work. The beauty of the Collatz conjecture is its simplicity. Anyone can try it. A child can understand it. But solving it, that's another story. Beyond its surface, the Collatz conjecture raises profound questions about computation and the limits of human understanding. If we can't solve this, what does it say about our ability to comprehend the universe? Are there problems that are simply beyond us? Perhaps the answer isn't just about numbers. Perhaps it's about humility. The Collatz conjecture reminds us that even the simplest questions can reveal the boundless complexity of existence. And so the challenge remains. Will you be the one to solve it? Will you find the key to unlock this mathematical enigma? Or will you simply enjoy the beauty of the journey, knowing that some mysteries might never be solved? In the end, it's not about the destination. It's about the wonder, the chase, the courage to dream. Mathematics isn't just numbers. It's the art of the infinite.